this fourth and final round of Swiss for the 2018 Regional Championships for Imperial Assault here in Toronto, Canada. We're playing at For the Win uh, Board Game Cafe up in North York. It's a lovely venue. They're able to. They've been very nice to us today. Um, we're just getting this round underway. We have Ron and uh, Dave. I'll uh, be facing off. Uh, what's the Ron? Uh, VJ is back, joining me again. Hello. Welcome back. What uh, what's Ron and Dave's uh, records? Uh, Ron is two and one, and Dave is two and one, I believe. Let me right. double check my stats here. So this match will be kind of uh, for a chance of making the top four. Yeah, this would be a chance for actually this would be a chance for making the top eight. I don't, I'm not sure any of these guys would make the top four. Oh no. Um, no, the other guys, a lot of them that were two and zero oh, that were in the same situation, we've already put them on stream, and in the top four, we figure one of them is going to make it to the final. So we figure we show one of these matches here. Okay. It's worked out that way, I guess. We had some confusion with the scheduling because um, they're, they're, they were the pairings turned up to have players match that it looks like they were going to play again, so we had to mix them oh. around. So a little bit messed around here so it is a it is gonna have top eight implication but I don't think it'll have top four implication. okay so we won't have any three and ones making top four or uh yep they can and just these guys here are I'm, I'm wrong they're actually both one and two okay so just that makes to be, okay yeah you, what you're saying now makes a ton more sense yeah they're just both one and two so there's rolling for initiative here looks like they can't decide on who wants to go first <laughs> Mul multiple roles here yeah um, so Ron was Ron runner up at national was it this year or last year that Ron was the runner up? Uh, it was last well, not the pad this past national. But twenty sixteen against Ron David. Yeah. Against uh, sorry, yeah. John Chan. He wasn't able to come uh, in the last year's uh, tournament. So yeah. it, let's, let me just get his list out here. Or both the lists. And uh, I think Dave actually helped us out with commentary uh, for those games yeah, at Nationals. He's planning to help us tonight uh, with the cut round as well. Awesome. So I've recruited him for that. So you guys are going to end up with two players who actually know how to play the game instead of having, instead of being stuck well, with me. What's funny too is uh, Ron. Um, Ron has played this stormtrooper like list forever, literally years. He loves it. He just made a slight tweak to it. Yeah. So his list is uh, two elite stormtrooper groups, two regular stormtrooper groups, BT one Imperial officer, rule by fear and Zillow technique. He used to run a Imperial guards instead of the extra officer except instead of the officer instead of bt1 right um and we have Dave. Yeah. dave loves the rancor so you knew he had to bring a, bring a rancor today he's got ig88 rancor elite weak way hired gun gideon c3po temporary alliance obviously beast tamer and focused on the kill to bring in for the ig88 upgrade so right now they're playing the masazi um back alleys and the scenario here is going to be that they have to grab crates and... No, not oh, sorry, crates. Sorry. Yeah, more crates, <laughs> but actually sit, sit next to crates. But I don't think they have enough uh, crates out there. Let me just go... Let me are just there, go there's, are there some... Oh, you can... I like these transparent doors. You can see what's behind them. Very nice. Uh, there's, looks like there's four crates. I think that's right, but... Those four crates are... No. Oh, okay. Those are extra crates. So yeah, the, the uh, green tokens are also crates, so they have six. Where's the six? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where those. Tokens. Yes, we we'll figured that out. I don't know where do those uh, doors come from. I like the transparent oh, doors. There's a guy in England that uh, makes X-wing, um, pure salt. Uh, Armada stuff. I actually just ordered those. So weird that. Point yeah, out. I just I, ordered uh, them this week. They're in the mail right now. Like, they have all these other custom ones on the market, but these ones are amazing. You can see through them. Yeah, so, I, w I w wouldn't mind making... I want to make sure that we have some every time we're streaming because yeah. it makes it a lot easier to see what's going see on. through the door. He, he calls himself... It's on eBay. I think he's... It's yeah, it's by the same words. token. That's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Singu and... Uh, yeah. yeah it's or by the LS same token. Ningu. I, sorry, I don't know how to... Your name is too complicated for me. Yeah, by I don't the know if that's token. a capital I. I don't know if yeah, it's an was L. Yeah, I like, you Insignia? Insignia? Seven dollars. Yeah. So I just bought. Uh, I bought. It's Nigu, Okay. Eight, eight doors this past week. He also has the power tokens now. Oh, because they fall apart, right? So apparently you're saying they ain't good, but 
You have to, I guess, glue them or something like that, because people say the glue sort of comes undone, the ones that he um, he uses. But honestly, I look at the other ones, and I, I don't like that they, you can't see through them. And so you can get ones out there. A lot of people are 3D, 3D printing them. And then the ones you get from last nationals that were top f uh, four, I think, or top eight, they they have like a slip that you pull from between the door. And I didn't like those either. I was like, it's just a little messy having those around. That ain't good. Oh, signal, signal. No, it is no good. Oh, it's, it's no, no good. good. Oh, okay. It's no good. It's no good. It's no good. <laughs> oh, okay. It's no good. All right, I get it. So it looks like uh, he's using General yeah. Weiss's token there. I yeah, he's using that token to just because uh, crush everything. the Rancor is a bit bulky uh, uh, right. when he's beside other figures. So okay. he'll be swapping uh, Rancors in when there's room oh, for it. Oh, but very good. Well, we wouldn't have seen his head in, on the screen anyways. So, That's true. Yeah, Dave, I think he's trying to take advantage of the meta by um, he's bringing in some higher guns. So they'll be able to run and get objectives. They're cheap. They're only two points. So he's not too worried about uh, them. They're sort of your, uh, your expendables. He's got IG focus on the kill. Everyone knows he's a beast in this game. So it's cool that we get to see IG today. So we've seen Vader. We've seen Han. Uh, IG. Ahsoka. We haven't seen, uh, there's no Chewie list this, uh, this tournament. So that's well, now that we've seen, none, there aren't any, or we just haven't seen think, them yet? I don't think there is any. I, 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 when All I've right. gone across the tables, I don't think anyone has a Chewie list. Uh, Ron's got his uh, Trooper Swarm, and uh, he loves to paint his figures, as you can see. No, actually, no, he doesn't. Yeah. So the black ones are the two elite groups, uh, and the gray ones are the non-elite. And you can see the BT-1 not painted in there, and the Imperial Officer in there as well. So I think this is going to be interesting because Ron is quite good with this list. He knows how to swarm. He knows how to, because he, he's going to be able to use reinforcements if, if some of them die. Uh, Dave has some good long range shooting from the weak ways. He's got IG, which can pretty much do everything right in this game. And he's got the Rancor, who's going to be able to, he's going to be able to throw in and do quite a lot of damage. I think, I think Rancor will do well against this list because these guys aren't going to do a lot of long range damage so the right. Rancor can try to sneak his way in um so this Rancor sneak I don't that doesn't seem like I know, it, it doesn't seem right yeah eh? yeah and then he comes in and just rips your face off so it's interesting so right now it looks like um Ron's just gonna make sure he gets next to the terminal for this round just getting a little bit of posturing so he moves BT up BT up one with the officer and takes a turn with the officer so this will be interesting we saw the other scenario of this map earlier and we saw that Ivan opened up doors and actually they both opened a door and we discussed with a few players after how you know with this map you don't necessarily want to open the doors and you know unless you have a really good yeah. advantage you can end the round um, so it'll be interesting to see how Dave responds whether he does open any doors or if he just sort of gets prepped for some long range yeah. shooting and the, this map does have some good long um, sight lines the middle is a little deceiving. It looks like you wouldn't, but if you can get around those corners, then yeah, you're going to have some sight lines there. So I don't know what they're discussing here. He's focusing uh, up his weak ways, I take it. Focus up one of the weak ways with 3PO and moving 3PO to the terminal. Yep. So I think, it, again, it'll be interesting to see if anyone opens any doors. Almost, I think Ron will open his door. He's got all these expendable troopers. He doesn't care. He's going to open the door. He's going to try and take... Uh, potentially have it just be ready for next activation to take to oh he actually can just sit there and get two points what am yeah. I saying so I think he will open up that door and get two points my guess is he might even swarm up and sit at some of those other spots it kind of makes sense really so let's see what he decides to do yeah. here I mean he's probably best to keep them together and he's counting it out here Okay, so maybe he's not going to go right up to it. He's just going to... Okay, so he's opening the he's door. opening so the doors. Where we say, you know, whether it's a good idea to open the doors or not in this map. Yeah. But now, the interesting thing is he's got... Uh, his, Dave's units are now going to have line of sight on that trooper. So Dave's units can stand on the corner. So you guarantee IG's doing something here this round. He's going to do some shots. He's got his free movement points, so he can assault. He can do two attacks this round. So I'm thinking I'm thinking you're gonna see a dead stormtrooper. Now obviously Ron can have some tricks up his sleeve. I mean you've got to come up pretty far. You got to come up pretty far to get line of sight on anything um, with the, that that vaporizer in the way. Uh, 
He's got to come all almost all the way to that crate in the middle to uh, have line of sight. Yeah, like IG's IG gets the automatic block. He's got the black die, so he's going to be able to take some stormtrooper fire. Sure, certainly. But at this point, he also can snipe from far away, so you don't necessarily have to really. Well, as long as you got guys in line of sight, you get a tree free yeah. movement points. So it looks like he's going to send the guns in to do their job and just sit next to some uh, some objectives. So there's gun number one. Yeah. And the other one, it's probably. I don't think he's going to put him by any of the, the other objectives at this point because he might be worried about getting shot at. Although he could go up the middle. I don't know what Ron's going to be able to shoot at from the middle. I don't think he's going to. Maybe from the stormtroopers down below. Yeah, the elite troopers. Can yeah, they might be able to get some shots up top, but he could hide him even around that one corner. I don't think he'd be able That's to. That's true. Him. I mean, he could re-roll and get for the accuracy. So I think they might make, play conservative here and just get him poised for another... Yeah, so he is going to hide him just, around yeah, that Yeah, he's counting maybe. how many spaces he's got. Yeah. I mean, the other thing, too, is at least you could get, get parting shot. So I don't know if you're going to get much out of it. Oh, you can see Ron's cards. Oh, I see reinforcements. Take initiative. Element of surprise. Ooh. So he's just challenging Dave right now. Dave is deciding whether he's going to go all in. Oh, okay. So he is keeping him yeah. safe. I think it's a smart move. I mean, you might as well not give him a free two points yeah. to shoot at you. Yeah, I think this turn turn is largely going to be the calm before the storm. Yeah, like this is reminding me of the first match. Their, their posture, they're moving up, actually. It's not just sort of hanging back. So Ron's moving everything up. Dave's gonna probably move a few things up, and then we're gonna just—it's gonna be a bloodbath. And in this situation, IG is gonna be—he's gonna come out pretty kingly. But it's whether you know. Obviously, we see Ron's gonna be pulling out a, a reinforcement, so he's gonna bring one of these guys back. And Rancor's gonna have what I would imagine is gonna end up being a feeding frenzy. He's gonna come right down that middle lane yeah. and just start whipping, whipping guys for the last activation, probably. So Ron has decided to put his one of his elite stormtrooper group at the bottom just to keep them out of the line of sight, and for just being poised for the next attack. But he's also going to be scoring potentially the two points. Yep. And I think it's pretty safe to say those two points are yeah are going to happen. Yeah, because I don't think you would want to waste a possibly not opening the door, but also taking the shots. So he's, he's well, taking the shots. Yes, I just don't think he's going to end up killing two elites. Yeah. So Dave did the right thing right here. I think he's just wait, waiting at the door, so when it's end around, that door will open. And then he can start deciding whether he's going to try and take with those stormtroopers or not. Yep. Um, but at this point, you're right. Those two points look pretty safe. Dave's definitely not opening the door. And Ron is just trying to keep the middle nice and tight, like the last game we saw. So keep a bunch of stormtroopers up in there so they can be ready for future attacks. That's a, probably a good move here. So he's just bringing them up in the middle, just bringing a nice big swarm in. Yep. He's got nothing to lose at this point. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you're not killing three stormtroopers. Potentially. Well, and again, Rancor can, can get a lot of movement in. He can, let me see how far he can get in. Okay, we can get the movement and then the damage. Yeah, he, could prob he can attack them. So I think he would have to do IG first, uh, get some guys on the edge, and then send in the Rancor to finish the job. And he can cleave as well. So he could actually... Dave could potentially do a lot of damage to Ron's Stormtroopers right now. This is what's annoying about this list, though, is, like, he can take a beating, he can lose a bunch of figures, and he's got reinforcements, and he gets a little bit lucky. He's sticking around, and he's still doing some damage. So activating Gideon. Focus up the rank. Oh, he's going to focus his other, his other uh, weak way. Okay. He's going to give the rank for two movement points. Pushes IG now line of sight, which is kind of interesting. He didn't really even need to do that, because um, his IG is going to get two movement points to move up, shoot. Well, yeah, but, but now, I, I think it's just... Well, now IG can oh, hide behind that red, can hide behind the red all right, right well, there, too. All the doors are going to be open at the end of the turn. Yeah. So he's moving up. So Ron's, Ron's, uh, Ron's getting green here. He's looking for lots of points here. I don't, I don't disagree with it, but he's definitely trying to go for objectives. I think he knows that his list is all about getting objectives fast. Because he's not gonna, his figures are gonna start going down. He might as well try and get the points now while he can. So he's got this massive stormtrooper swarm in the middle, waiting for the beast of a rancor yeah. and the IG88 to come in and and 
do some damage. I don't, I don't think that top Stormtrooper is going to survive. Yeah, he's dead, eh? I, I think IG's going to take care of him. he's a regular as well. He only has three hit yeah. points, so... Yeah, he'll, he'll be pretty pretty dead. And he's got Zillow. Again, and Zillow's a great card. Like, Imperials, if you run an Imperial list, I feel like Zillow is an absolute must. Like, you have to have Zillow in there. Just correcting uh, one of the objective placements there on the right-hand side. So Dave's probably trying to decide now. Is this when I start, it's start not, killing things? It seems like there's room for the Rancor now. Yep, absolutely. So Rancor's going to... But it, I think if Dave gets rid of that... Uh, no, no, I meant I just want to see the figure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, come on. Although it's... Uh, I'm surprised. I think Dave brought an unpainted one. Which he is, did. He's probably embarrassed about it right now. Uh, that might be. It. He's like, I, I'm not going to be on stream with an unpainted you know rancor. What? I also, I should point out, and I'm, I'm going to call him out on this one. He's a massive fan of General Vice, but he knows he's not playable. So I think he's trying to. It's an homage to General Vice to put that token All in right. there. So he's desperately hoping for uh, a fix for that guy. We call him Miami Vice. So I think he's probably using that to be funny more than anything. His rancor's not painted, and I think he's too embarrassed to show it. So let's see what happens. Okay, so he moves up IG as free two movement points. He's going to do two attacks on the Stormtrooper yep. using Assault. You see there, um, with his upgrade card, he gets two attack, uh, two free two movement points as well. It's focus on the kill. So Ron's rolling for defense. He's got IG, who gets a... So he's rolling a red. He gets a free focus, or red, blue. I'm just, looks like he's definitely got the distance, yeah. and that's going to be a dead Stormtrooper from the looks of things here. And that's me two points for Dave. Oh, look at look at Vic, look at this professional. Get it right in the screen. Nice. Uh, Isaac, this is the uh, Toronto regional, so not not in the U.S. <laughs> no, you're right. If you had the Emperor, or or if, heck, if you had a trooper group and you had a uh, grenadier, that'd be pretty awesome too. Slap some sort of uh, sp uh, splash damage on these guys. So now his second assault, he's going to shoot at the elite stormtrooper yeah. that's in the front. And uh, I think he's going to use the same. He's going to go with the focus, the red die and the blue die, just to make sure he's got the distance. And Dave's is counting. Always make sure. Count, make sure you've got the right number of squares. I've seen games where guys don't count and they forget something like the smuggler's got minus two accuracy in oh. the attack. And... Because IG can decide what two dice he wants to use. Yeah. So he's being conservative. He's going with a green instead of uh, red. Nope. Oh, yeah, Dracotta. That's a good one, too, in Sinew. Uh, wait, what was it again? Well, how did you say it again? Man, I forgot already. So here's IG shot. So he's he can push two through. So it'll be one damage, it looks like. So we can pierce, though. So take two damage. It's four damage total. With two so block. Like with the two block. So it's one of the elites. Okay. So he's still alive. But he's going to have a visit from a monster soon. And uh, Ron has BT1 left, who I don't think is going to be able to get a shot. No, BT1 activated first. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, it was the officer. It was the officer. Great, sorry. He moved first. Cool. Are you learning here, too? So, BT1, he's not going to have a line of sight on anything, except for the guns, which, this is a good move at this point. You might as well just try to deny him of two points, and you don't have any other shots. I like it. And then you can come in back door with BT1. So, I'm not sure he's just verifying the range here, because the red... Uh, Destruction in front of him, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's got a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. B21 should be taking this guy. He doesn't get the dodge, so this should be a death. Yeah, he's long dead. So that's a dead uh, fire gun. That's two points for Ron. He gets a parting shot though, so he gets to shoot back at BT1 with not much. He's gonna surge for his blast. Ah, that's right. That's correct. So he knocks a blast. Let's see what he does here with his parting shot. So one, ex one damage on the second paired gun. Yep. Dave's going to... And does he get range? Uh, I can't see his yellow in there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and it doesn't have the range. doesn't have the range, so nothing happens. So two points. That'll be two less points at the end yep. of the round. Yeah, the, so that was um, a good move by Ron. And then now... 
how we get the fun and games of the rank we're coming in. I mean, it would have been more thematic if it was a loop list we were going, he was going yeah. against here, but hey, can't win them all. Although it was funny seeing uh, Darth Vader attack on, no, 3PO last round and dodging it. I don't know how that could happen, but it did. Here comes the Rancor. He's just checking his Beast Tamer. He's tapping his Beast Tamer to move his four. Okay. And then he's going to move another four, and I think he's going to be able to swipe. Yeah, he can, he can, he can get a shot. And there he goes. So he's going to attack the front guy. He's the only one he has to reach on, I think. Yeah. So he's only going to be able to do any damage on the front guy. And this could very well be a dead Stormtrooper, depending on how well Dave rolls here. Gets those dice nice and rolled and mixed up. Love it. Oh, this doesn't look good for the Stormtrooper. I'm pretty sure it's a dead trooper. He's got five damage points. And he's going to push through another two. Unless uh, Braun wants to tap or to throw a card out for Zillow. And it looks like he's deciding that right now. He's got Grenadier taking... Oh, man, he's got great cards. And re reinforcements, I think. Oh, yeah, reinforcements. Element of surprise. That's... Oh, that hurts. I, I don't know what you do here. Oh, it looks like he did. He threw out a card. And to keep his uh, trooper alive with four damage. Probably a good move considering the cards he had. His trooper, he's got reinforcements anyways. You can bring him back, right? So... Yeah, so with Zillow, if you tap it, you can block the pierce, up the pierce too. But it's always active that you can use a card, throw away a card from your hand for a block. So it looks like end of round, they're drawing their cards. And now they're going to do end of round scoring. Six, so six points for Ron. Six points for Ron, and it looks like two for Dave. Because he gets the rank four. Or no, he's not sentient though. He still counts for control, though. You just, yeah, he just doesn't get... Uh, oh, does the Rancor control? Um, you, you can count for control. You just can't interact. So, right, so he does get two points. points. Yeah. I forgot that was there. Yeah. Or your, the general vice. Yeah, I'm going to give him a hard time. So he's going to come and do the uh, color commentating on the stream later, and I'm going to give him a hard time. He's going to explain to us why. I'm going to call it right now. He just did it to, uh, to have some fun. They're going to confuse everyone now. They're going to go, why is everyone, anyone using general vice? Nobody uses general vice. So beginning around here, Ron has the initiative here. It doesn't look like Dave's going to try to steal it in any way. Now, well, Ron had Ron had initiative, so it should have switched. Oh, they're not even switched yet. Okay, so they're, they're just doing end around effects, moving the doors, and they're going to check if they have any beginning around cards. And there goes the initiative. So Dave will start the round. Doesn't look like he's got any cards on him. Oh, and Ron is going to try to steal initiative here. Okay, so he plays take yep. initiative. And let's see if Dave does it. I'm assuming Dave does not have uh, Yeah, it does. doesn't look like he's going to. Uh, and so Ron here could attack with that Stormtrooper and run away. Uh, so that. Well, he, ad he advented the officer. Yeah, so he used the officer as his for his take initiative. No, he's using that to steal the initiative. Yeah. So now he can go first. I mean, at this point, if he doesn't move that uh, that stormtrooper out of there, take, at least take something out from the rancor and run away. Sorry, we're just uh, going over and making sure they, they had the wrong score at the table. who he wants to activate first because if you're going to take initiative you really should use it on you know you're about to die or you're about to kill someone so well yeah those away. elite stormtroopers seem like they're not going to yeah yeah so, so at he this is, point you might as well start putting some damage oh, through uh, nope he's uh, the white uh, he's regular, regular stormtroopers runs. oh okay then uh, he's going oh he's going to grenadier okay yeah. so he's going to try and get a space and try and get all three of those guys there to and he hits for two. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, it's, de it's a deadly blow when they get three, but two's still pretty good. That's an average. That's a one in three chance on the dice, on the die. So Dave takes Grenadier. Uh, takes two damage to C-3PO on both his weak ways. So that's a bit unfortunate. 
and now he's going to attack. The same guy is going to attack. He can re-roll an attack die. No, not mm -hmm. ducky. No, I'm Yeah, right, he can. It's okay, so he's going to reroll right. that die. He can only push one damage through, though. So nope, he doesn't, he, doesn't have the, yeah. he doesn't have range so with he can, hidden. Yeah, and I don't think he couldn't have done anything about that anyways. And now the other Stormtrooper, I was going to try and take a shot at... Hot shots of the Rancor, all right. Fake Weiss, the Rancor. Okay. Good, so good roll. That's a good roll. So obviously Dave did not train his Rancor this round. It looks like he's going for Brutality. Because he can do Beast, beast Tamer, push all the way in. This is what he's going to do. He's going to go all the way and just sit right on top of all those Stormtroopers. And then he's going to be able to attack twice. So it's a pretty good move by Dave not to do train. Uh, strength in numbers, oh boy. So now he's going to activate another group. Uh, that's less than 15, I believe, is the total. Uh, oh, can I see 12, sorry. So now you can activate the other Stormtroopers. Yeah. That's the other reason why you did the regular Stormtroopers, yes. so he could play that card. So, smart play. This is definitely one of the things he's got in his playbook. If he wants, if you want to do well with this list, you got to use things like reinforcements. you got to use um, uh, Grenadier. you got to use Strength in Numbers. So that's what he's getting the cards early, which is great for him. Yeah. Uh, he's just trying to calculate. Dave was just mentioning well. that uh, Ron's figures won't blank, walk him out of sight to the rank card because it's massive. That's right. Correct. Yep. So, I mean, IG's nice and covered because he's behind the massive figure. That's true. <laughs> but you are right. Okay, so... Uh, I guess he's like going to try to work on those weak ways. Yeah, because I think maybe he realizes they can be kind of dangerous. You don't want them hanging around. They're your long-range shooters, and they can make you re-roll. Okay, so he's going to... I can't see what Dave's die is, but it definitely looks like he rolled a, yeah. like a, block, a block result. So he's going to re-roll. Oh, that was a good re-roll. So he's got range. Well, they're, oh, hidden. No, they're, they're hidden. hidden. They're hidden, oh, so he doesn't have range. Hidden, so that's right. So he's going to have trouble with that. Yeah, just discussing that right now. But yeah, that's a miss. Looks like it should be a miss, yeah. And then he's going to bring in... See, I think at this point, though... Take advantage of the fact that your rank, the Rancor's not trained. He's got one black die to use, but you know, I'm, you know me, hindsight's twenty twenty. I like to point out the obvious when you know they've done something else. So another kind of not that great of a roll for his. Uh, not enough trooper. range. Again, not enough range because the weak ways oh, are hit. All right, he has surging fracture. Okay, so he's going to spend it. We see weak ways going to take. So search for damage, search for accuracy, takes one damage on that weak way. And then his final trooper is going to do the same thing as he's keep trying to chip away at these weak ways. And let's see what he gets on this roll here. At least now he might have a better chance of getting the range. Oh, okay, he's got, that's a nice roll for him there. Another two damage. Let's see, another two. Is that going to take care of that weak way? Looks like he's just hanging on for dear life. Oh, wow. Okay. So that weak way stays alive. So now Ron has those two expended groups. And so now Dave can start doing some damage. I just want to see this Rancor come in and just stomp everything. Well, I, just want, I, just, and, I mean, it was good too because now Ron can move everything out of there. Now here comes the stomp. So he's going to beast tame for four movement points, sit on top of somebody. He's going to give them all. And if he has crush, he can give one of them four damage. Let's see what Dave does here. So he's going to crush, land right on top of all these guys, and push them all. So Ron gets to place them where he wants that are at least so one adjacent. He's going to use crush, crush on that wow. guy with two damage. Dang. So use crush for uh, three, three points. Yeah, three points for that yep. elite. And he's probably going to, and he also gets so, to do two attacks here. So this is going to be pretty, let's see what he does here. So he's trying to figure out where, where this Rancor is going to land. And then Ron's got to move everybody out. That gets, uh, that gets hit. And he actually can do a damage to that other Stormtrooper too. So he's just shuffling all the Stormtroopers out of the way. 
Oh, this is actually cool to get this on stream just because she had really the rank for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm embarrassed for you, Clary Who. Well, he just wants to have it now. So now he should be able to take care of that elite, and he's denied access to those control, pounds, control points in the middle. You're absolutely right. So it's a good strategic move there by Dave. It's going to be a good move to get him back into the game here. The models are post game. And so now he's doing an attack on this focused stormtrooper. The focused stormtrooper got the focus from his buddy dying. Okay, so it looks like he's going to. Not a great roll, but. Well, he can also cleave um, someone else nearby, so. This is probably going to be, and he can push two damage. Oh man, two, so that's five other thing. Is cleave everything adjacent or uh, anything that you have an ability to attack? One, oh, only one, only okay. one. So anyone he could have potentially attacked. So that's pretty much everybody. I think he can pretty much reach every. Cause well, I, reach. I, for a second, I thought it would be everyone. Uh, no, no, no. So you have to pick one, and then so he's basically going to damage the guy he attacked, and then cleave one of their guys. So I think that one stormtrooper is dead. With the three damage, I would imagine he's going to kill. Because then you can focus on killing the, um, the elite guys. Now, the issue, though, is how do you get the third guy? You want to get that other guy before he uses a reinforcement. Because if Dave can do that, I'm huge. And which I think he should be able to do it. So there's four damage. That guy is going to take a hit. So three more points for Dave. And the other Stormtrooper with focus is going to have uh, one more damage point left. So it's going to be interesting to see how Dave manages to get to that guy. Because well, can't he do a second attack and then if he rolls a cleave? Still, uh, yeah, because he's got the brutality still, so he, he should still be able to use the brutality. If he attacks another one and gets yeah. a surge for the cleave. That's right, and that's why he intentionally didn't use the train, so he can have two attacks. So I'm just trying to think if he's trying to figure out what else he wants to do here. Because you could just you could attack one of the other guys and just cleave this guy, right? And hope to get a surge. Yeah. So that might be your best bet. I think it's a better bet. Yeah, because you do more damage on the yeah. other guy. So let's see what Dave's trying to figure out here. Maybe he's trying to decide. Uh, I mean, he could go after one of the, the white painted uh, regular stormtroopers because, again, you want to try to get at the groups as fast as possible so you can't play reinforcements. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, do you hit one of the gray ones because you still have your weak waves that could potentially yeah. take that squad out? Yeah. Your white squad. Well, I guess IG could take the white squad. Yeah. Like I guess, w yeah, out. I mean, IG is going to go after, after go, have to go over after BT or the White Stormtrooper on the left. Yeah. Because he's not going to be able to get line of sight on anyone else. So, it looks like he might have enough to kill. Oh, it's pretty close. Yeah. No. I yeah. mean, he can still cleave. No, he's going to use that cleave, though. So, he's going to do three damage to the one guy. He'd rather cleave than finish the... So, I, now Ron would have to decide. I think he could use Zillow here because he's got two, four, five. It's enough to kill the Stormtrooper. Yeah. But he's decided he wants to keep it or not. And he could zillow, right? I think he might have because I think he put a card down there. And no, he didn't. So it's another two points for Dave on the white Stormtrooper and three on the black Stormtrooper. So Dave's Rancor is doing what he was supposed to do. Come in and just mangle some figures. All right. Well, it's good to see the Rancor do some work here. Yeah. And that's uh, that was big because those elites have not activated this turn. So... And they're gonna, yeah. And if anything, you don't want any of them sticking around for um, for him to reinforce. That's great. He took out the whole group, and I think Dave knows that. I mean, he's been a trooper list guy, so he understands how that works. Okay, so looks like Ron's gonna activate his elite storm from the bottom and start taking some chunks out of the. Uh, it's interesting that he doesn't go back at the weak way, because eh? I mean the weak way. I guess because he's hidden, he's like, worried about getting any damage but it's gonna start shooting at the untrained rancor but you got a lot you got well, a uphill battle here man yeah it seems ambitious yeah okay well that's not bad he's gonna put four, four damage through there but i mean if if the rancor survives it's gonna take out the rest of that other stormtrooper yeah if not so, come after the elites right so he's probably thinking that i mean crazy thing about dave's list he still has you know ig88 yeah. that can come sliding in so here goes the second attack Looks like he's got a good roll there. Yeah, so Oof. three damage. So that's Rancor's taking a bit of a beating. Oh, whoa, whoa. So that puts it at... So that was seven total, I think. Let's see. That's a 12, I think, damage uh, so far. So we're five from last turn. Yeah. That's what we got here. We're going to push her. Another, that should be another... That should four. kill it. And let's see what he got down there right now. There goes the rank for it. 
and so he's going to get 10 Dude. points for that. So 10 points for Ron. And so he had to do that. You're right. If you don't, you don't want to leave him hanging around, right? Well, I mean, one more round, and then I mean, he's going to have initiative next round. So yeah. that that whole he can take out that whole other stormtrooper, or yeah. start going working on the elites if he wants to. But and I, I really like you know Ron has a good position here with the elites left um, because you know if one goes down, he can still pull that reinforcements card. Well, and I think Dave's probably going to recognizing that he's going to leave them till the very end. Yeah, there's no point trying to take any of them out. Start pegging off the little guys. Get get your points. Um, so it looks like right now Dave is looking at trying to attack BT1. So he's going to do just a regular attack here. He's going to probably do two reds in his focus. That's my guess. See if he's got and a shotgun cards. blast, I think. Uh, yep. Shotgun. He's playing something lovely. Oh, tools for the job. So there's like three reds. <laughs> he showed it off to the camera. With three reds and a green. This is going to be nasty. Oh, boy! That's a lot of damage. Oh, crap. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Is 10? That is a lot. <laughs> There's another die off oh screen. Boy. And if he has, does he have um, does he have assassinate? Let's see what he's trying to play here. Or is he gonna do heightened reflexes? He looks like he's ready to he's poised to play a card. Yeah. Ron is trying to think here if he zillows if it helps. So he's got he did Zillow. Um, he did throw a card away. You don't have to actually do that until after Dave's got his Yeah, I think Dave's explained that to him, I'm guessing. So attacker plays cards first. He's playing assassinate. Well, he's trying to help him out here because he's going to play assassinate and kill him. So there comes the assassinate, and that should be enough to kill BT one. But if he zillows, that still should still be enough to kill him. I yeah. can't see the green die, but I, I'm quite sure that that should be enough. I think maybe they're just trying to discuss whether it's worth zillowing or not. They're just doing the math. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can't see the green die, but I'm thinking that... No, no, it's another two damage. Yeah, so that's, Ten that's total. enough. Even with Zillow, that's not going to save him, so that's... Oof, that, that hurts. Yeah. So, so that's BT dead. That's BT who, who didn't even activate that's yet. That's another six points. Yeah, six points for Dave. Dave's playing this really well. I mean, he's got good firepower, which helps, but he's playing this really well. He's playing this positionally. I got a little worried for him when uh, the weak ways were, uh, were getting some early shots against him. And that was uh, his last activation for the round. That's right. So he took away his last activation. And Dave still has the weak ways, so you can guarantee there's going to be some dead stormtroopers coming up here. So he's going to go with his gun. You might as well just move him up and steal the two points. Yeah. Or go in the middle. No, I don't want to go in the middle because then you're going to waste shots. Well, no, he can take, he can take two. Uh, he's, yeah, all oh, right, send around. He doesn't have anyone left. Don't just size Oh, one, two, stay. three, four, five. Oh, he can't get far enough. Ah, uh, he's probably just he's gonna he's stay only there. move three or move No, he can move five, so he can get right in the middle. He can get right in the middle of that, but I think oh. he's thinking this is save two points. Why he might just stay there. If he goes in the middle, he's probably gonna be dead. Like next round, I guess. But yeah, you could score an extra two right now, but I don't know. Maybe it would pay off. He's gonna I mean, waste a shot, right? It's not a bad trade, right? Yeah. If they're going to prioritize... Well, I mean, you can also just leave him in the back and potentially get four or six points yeah. through the course of the game. So here comes the weak ways. And is he actually trying to go for the elites? Or is he going to just... Yeah, he, he's moving up, which is interesting. I mean, he doesn't really need to move up with all the firepower he's got on this weak way. I so guess the air going after the elites. Far guy, yeah. Oh, that's a cheap move here. It's a bit, uh, a bit bold, but fortune favors the bold. So here goes Dave with his weak way shot. He's got this focus hidden. That's probably a dead stormtrooper. Yeah, that's dead. You're not going to zillow that back to life anytime soon. Nope. So that's going to be Pierce. Add two. Yeah, there's no math here, man. That's dead. And so seven damage with Pierce one. Yep. So I'm not sure if they're... It's getting late in the day and their yeah. brains are not letting them do the math, but that's definitely going to be... So it's going to be another three points for Dave. Dave. I mean, unless, I guess there's a card, cards could make a difference, but I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, but he, I don't, at this point, I don't think he's got anything in his list that could, like, I've sort of seen his command deck before by playing against him, and I don't think there's anything there. Mm -hmm. At least he gets to focus on another guy. 
is cool when one of your in the elite group when one of your buddies gets hurt, you get focused. You think they get scared? And how much? How far can Scipio move? Move uh, three. <coughs> So, so he, he, can, he can double move he, six. He, he can take those. Uh, he's going to do another shot at another elite. Yeah. Uh, at this point, it's looking really good for Dave. I think this is like so, especially depending on what happens. Oh, another good. That's roll. a good block, though. Uh, you can make him re-roll that. So he's going to make him re-roll that black. And because as it's showing right now, he's got six. He's a pierce. So he's piercing. Or he's adding two. Getting rid of the pierce. Yeah. Is he not making? He's going to use Zillow. Is he not going to make uh, Ron re-roll? Is what I'm wondering. Here. Why is he not making Ron re-roll? So Ron's zillowing. I think Dave forgot about the re-roll there. Uh, that's 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 a bit uh, unfortunate. Because he could have uh, made uh, Ron re-roll that. I mean, block. sure, he's probably still going to live. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. And so Ron zillowed another card. Puts a focus on one of the weak ways for next round. Just so planning, get some more cards. Okay, so he's going to draw two command cards. I'm, su I'm surprised he doesn't move up to take a. Uh, yeah, you're right. He could just move up. Well, maybe he wants he wants the card in the end of the round or something. Yeah. So he's leaving free fuel there. Okay, so that's end of I mean, round. And there's no rush. Yeah. I think he's, it look, it's looking good for him right now, too. So, so end of round, he's going to score... Four for Dave and two yeah. for uh, yeah. Ron? Yeah, it looks like that. Uh, uh, let's see here. No, does Ron have any? Yeah, he's oh, got the, the bottom, leads to the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. So, yeah, four for Dave, two for Ron. And we're going to see if there's any end of round effects. Yeah. So Dave's looking pretty in control in this game. Yeah, I think so too because, I mean, although his weak ways only have four left, or and actually one of them has one left, sorry. Yeah, but, I mean, they're not in great shape. Yeah, but... And uh, IG's not really IG, in a great spot. Yeah, he's, there, he's a bit out of the picture right now. So Dave has to take advantage here and try and get his score as many points as he can in this round. Ron has spent a lot of his good cards, yeah. a lot of his, you know... He, well, he he's not spending his reinforcements to get another elite back yeah. in. No, he did. You're right. Yeah. So he, yeah, so now he's got that elite back. So it's going to be interesting, this ending. So Dave does have an eight-point lead, but Ron's going to definitely take out a few figures here unless Dave can help it. Well, I think one of the things that Dave can probably do is he can kill enough figures here that he can make up the difference by the end of the round yeah. with the objectives. Yeah. I think so. so he, he can do some slick like shots and moving too, right? I mean, he could, he's in a position to shoot guys and move. Yeah. And go towards objectives and just sit at objectives at the end of the round. This might be a good uh, time for him to bring that hired gun in at the end of round and put him in the middle and score. I don't even know if he'll need to go that far. Yeah. I think you go get your weak way activations here. A reasonable chance killing. You're gonna kill at least one of the elites, if not two. Yeah. And then just sit in the middle. Move to the middle. The other difference, though, is he could he could also use Prowl to get an extra surge, but at this point it wouldn't be worth it. He might as well not leave them out in the open, make his troopers have to move. So it looks like he is going to attack the... The new the one came damage. in. Yeah, because I think as you, what you pointed out, he's going to shoot and move, which does make a lot of sense because they're hurting, and you're just going to give away four points. It's not going to be worth it. So here goes the first roll. Oh, another good roll. Looks like a pretty good play. roll. Man. Yeah, we need to, uh, Dave to understand that he's about one dice. One die too short. Uh, optimistic about what's yeah. off the bottom of the mat. <laughs> I'll go tell. I gotta move. So he's gonna take cover. So he's only gonna take four damage, so he hangs on by a thread there. Uh, and moves that weak way back out of range. So smart. He gets him out of range. Uh, he's got three PO next to him, so he's gonna have an extra. So he's gonna attack the same guy. Just make sure he gets gets a kill, uh, and which he easily does. Pretty good. Yeah. So he's not gonna be able to zillow his way down out of that one. So it's a dead trooper. It's three more points for Dave. Yeah. Okay. So 
was a pretty good move. Now you can uh, move that guy out of there, maybe move him up the middle, or just get him all the way out. Uh, one short of free peel. Eesh. That's tough. That might be a dead weak way. But maybe he understood that anyways. He figured it's worth it to take out a figure. Uh, Ron does Yeah, it's going to die. Yeah. And you can't underestimate IG. He can move seven, so he gets his two free movement points, and then it's, he moves five, so that's seven. So here goes Ron with a little retaliation. He's going to try and take out that weak way just to get the points, because at this point, I, you know, I'm not sure. That weak are, the weak ways have already activated. So going out that weak way, this should be a, a kill here with a focus yes. trooper. Unless he's got a cool uh, defensive card, Dave. Looks like it's probably a dead uh, weekly. It only has one hit point left on it. So we're discussing it's four points. Yeah. Four points for Ron. Well, it's a tight game here. With less than 19 minutes to go. So it is going to come down to a lot of objectives here. You know, some objective scoring. Yeah, the big question is really whether Dave has a way of getting the points this round. Uh, so. Yeah, and it's tough too because you know once IG walks away from that spot which he has to you got to get him in the action because you have a lot you have time for another another round or two here if you move this fast but you move IG away and you're losing the two points but and you got to get him in the action he's a full IG he's going to just do some pounding soon so here goes uh, Dave with another uh, Ron with another focused attack oh that's a lot of damage so he's got three damage just got one left, I think, so. so you should be alive from what I'm seeing here. Yeah, so it's going to be one short of enough of yeah. fatal damage. Which is very fortunate for Dave. He didn't even end up needing the, uh, well, it's, Ron's probably maybe just trying to decide if there's any kind of reroll in his middle arc. Yeah. But there's no point. At this point, it's a good, that's a pretty good attack. You could try to roll it for the surge in the one, but the surge is blocked, so there's no point. So that's just a... Weak way that's hanging on for dear life. But I mean, I mean, having to use one of his regular stormtroopers to finish him off is not the end of the world. No, not at all. Yeah, just run in. One of them's bound to make the hit. So Dave's here. Uh, let's see, what has he got left here? He's got uh, hired gun, which is probably. I would imagine that's going to be end of round. He's going to keep him there. He's got three field Gideon. And IG. Yeah. So we could focus up that weak way who's going to survive. The, well, when the initiative twit switches, it could be a different story. Make a decision here. I think he's probably best to move IG in pretty soon because those uh, stormtroopers are not going to do much damage to him anyway. So I'm going to try and take one of them out or two of them out. I don't know. Oh, you're not going to get two, I don't know why I said that. You could definitely at least go for, uh, for one and take one out. And then you get IG in there. Do some, so you've got to take that Stormtrooper out first. Just doing the strain from Relentless first. Yeah. Makes sense. Deciding whether to discard a card or whether it's... Yeah. I'm just going to take the damage because it doesn't matter. Yeah, makes sense. So he's IG's probably killing him regardless. Yeah, with the two reds and the green, that should be... Yeah, death for a that'll be enough. Figure. Yeah, so that's enough. So that's going to be two, two There's one off screen points. as well, but... Yeah. So two more points for Dave. They're just doing the math. close because then he's going to be... Oh, okay, so just at the, at the terminal so we could contest the card. Yeah, this is playing height and reflexes. Okay, so now he's going to attack height and reflexes. Oh, he, doesn't, he, he could play that if he wants to. He can play that after the roll. So the timing on that is he doesn't necessarily have to play right now. He can play that yeah, after the roll. He can see all the roll is. So officer's dead, so two points for Dave. 
moving his way up there. And if you look now, I mean, all he needs is five for the win. So if he can put the gun, uh, see, I just won too far. Yeah, but yeah, I do. Uh, uh, that's a shame. Because I was going to say, if he could put the gun in the middle at the end of the round, but you're, you're well, probably... Well, like the Stormtroopers are going to have to... They have to challenge it. Yeah, they have yeah. to. Like, I mean, it's just going to take one to yeah. to take out two and of those then, options. And at this point, at end of round, Dave will... So Dave will end up with 37 points. And then he just has to take out an elite Stormtrooper. And that'll be the game. Because it, it'll take, I would assume, Ron a lot longer to get the points than it would for Dave. Element surprise, uh, surprise. attacking okay. C-3PO. Yep. So he doesn't have a dike. And that's a dead C-3PO. So that's going to be two points for Ron. That was a smart move. I mean, you might as well try to take, a, take away the activation. Um, do the math here or something? Yeah, so okay. 3PO is dead. Okay. That's two points for uh, Ron. It's still anyone's game at this point, and Ron's going to have to do some man fancy maneuvering to get some of his troopers near these uh, objective tokens to get some points. You know, you can go down and get... Now the big thing here is. Okay, okay, so he's doing what he said. He's just spreading out, just get some objectives. Maybe gonna shoot that weak wave. Hopefully, try to kill him. Looking like he might do it. Yeah. Depends on how this weak wave roll goes here. Oh, that's timely. But he only needed one, I think. So I think that's a dead weak wave. I think he needed one. Yeah. So yeah. It just needed one damage, like, and it does. Yeah. So like so four yeah. points for Ron. Tight, yeah, it was really tight. Ron's making it close. So I was getting a little worried. I thought maybe Dave was running away with this. And then now, only oh, charges for plus one. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, right, so he's, only, a, he's not a two man, he's, he's right. a two. That's right. So he, so he doesn't do enough. Yeah, that's right. Even I forgot. He's, he's, he's just a regular uh, dude. Let's see, this guy can have a chance of getting rid of the one. So here we go with the... And he can re-roll his die this time, at least. Oh, yeah, he's going to want to... Re oh, oh, boy. boy. Uh, yikes. Uh, I mean, he can re-roll, but he's not going to do enough damage. So, again, Dave Yeah, I don't dies. think there's any... Uh, there's nothing... There was no roll as good. Dave's, Dave's uh, MVP weak way there. So yeah, I don't think there's any way for Dave to take this round, like finish it off this round. Yeah. He's not, not going to get five. So, yeah, remind me, is it, when when do you win? Like, when you're, you're going to 40. As soon as you hit 40. As soon as you hit 40? Yeah. Okay. So it could be any time during the game, as soon as you hit 40, right. it's game over. So Dave's going to be at 37. Ron's going to be at, well, potentially here, depending on what he does with uh, Gideon, or gun, but... Ron's going to pick up another six points from the objectives, 32. So it's going to be close, but Dave definitely looks like he still has the advantage. Yeah. I think if Ron had killed that weak way, then we were talking a different story. I think well, no, I, I don't think it matters. He'll kill him at the beginning of the round. Depending on... No, okay, but that means also Dave can come in with IG and just kill anything at that point. Because if he kills the uh, Stormtroopers... Like, especially if he gets an elite, that's three points. Well, yeah, he has to kill an elite yeah. or two yeah. out of the other troopers. And he can reach it with IG. So Dave will, uh, Ron will shoot, do whatever he's got to do to shoot something. And Dave just walks with IG, kills one figure, and it should be over. So now Gideon's coming in. He's going to try and contest and take a shot. Smart idea. Hold Ron back by Oh, then a surprise. surprise. <laughs> Gideon That's not here. what he meant. Look at this. Gideon, the monster. I think he realizes he want, needs the element of surprise next round with uh, IG to make sure that that yeah. IG gets a kill. It's more reliable than that. Uh, so I can't see what is wrong over there. Oh, that looks like they only get three health. So that's three, and he pierces one, I think. I think it's Gideon, so. Oh, he's going to focus himself up. Okay. So he's going to do damage. He's still going to Zillow a card here. So he's putting his plus two damage down. Yeah. So that would be two. And then yeah. Ron is so let's take the two. Yeah, yeah there's no, no reason. Damage. Yeah, no point. Okay. And okay, let's deny another two points to yeah. Ron. And now should be oh. the higher gun. 
still got a hundred gun, but I would I would just leave him there. You're gonna get two points. And I think I mean, it's gonna be. In I'd the move the hired gun. Maybe up to the closer. Yeah. I don't know if that puts them at risk. Yeah, because the thing is, if you don't move them. Yeah, okay, because you could come around. Yeah, the yeah you don't want them to be able to kill the hired, because kill, killing the hired gun and the weak way is probably enough. I mean, they still got cards, so maybe there's something else you can do. Yeah, I'll screw some trick up his sleeve he's got here. Interesting. What is he trying here? This is going to be interesting. Attacking, and this is the element of surprise. Though. Wow, this could be the, the hired gun for the win here. This would be awesome. I uh, wouldn't be the win. Well, I mean, like, you know, good move, in other words. Okay, so he can surge. Let's see what he put. I think that's probably going to be enough. I mean, unless yeah. he zillows. I think the hired gun can push for one. Yeah, he's going to zillow. And now he's zilloing. Keep the guy alive. So, I mean, now you're contesting that spot. If you kill that hired gun, he's going to shoot. So that's not a bad move. Yeah. So Ron is definitely down to, you know, he's, he's, most of his guys are down to their last couple so of health. Both players get, yeah, so just two points for Ron, no points for Dave. Yeah. So, I mean, in the end of round, yeah. draw their cards here. See if they have any. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Dave's got two yeah. terminals, so he's gonna he's gonna be full of command cards, and we haven't even seen all of the uh, good ones. We've seen some good ones, but he's still got quite a few left. And he's taking an issue. Okay. Yikes! So good. So he exhausted the higher gun for it. Yeah. He could probably shoot with the weak way and run away, or he could bring an IG. And had he just kept the hired gun up top, he'd be at 37 right now, and he could have just killed a. I, mean, I I would activate the weak way just to be sure. Yeah. Because he's got to kill two here. I think, he, I think he figures he kills this stormtrooper, and then he can shoot long range on the other uh, elite trooper. I know, but why not just take a... So that's going to be a dead stormtrooper, yeah. so that's two more points for Dave. Two. And then now he can do a long range shot on the hurt guy, and if he gets this, it's, it's game over. And otherwise, I don't think Ron. It'll be hard to see if Ron. Hard to say whether Ron has enough to score. Yeah. Oh, brace for impact. Ouch. So that's the card we've been seeing every game so far. So he's gonna have oh. another black die in here. Yeah. Unfortunately, we won't show you the card. It's one of the broken ones in the overlay. Yeah. Here we go. So he's gonna decide what kind of. He's gonna decide what color dice to use here. So I would say red, green. Oh, he's gonna throw blue in for the distance. Okay. Oh boy, Brace for Impact has helped a, a lot yeah. there. So he's blocking all of his two. Range. He can surge for two. He's got the range. He's looking to see if he wants to spend a card here, use a card, because he's not going to finish this guy off. He's only going to do damage. And then the problem at this point is you're going to have to rely on. Officer, oh, officer training? Yeah, so he's going to reroll. Oh, oh, there you oh, go. Wow. That's it. It's a timely reroll. It's still only. Oh, no, same thing. Damage. Same yeah, thing because the surge is gone. Yeah. So he's only going to do two damage. He can actually oh. <laughs> hold off and do yeah. one in Zillow if he wanted to. But, but no, he has no cards, so he can't ah, Zillow. So he has none left, okay? Uh, I can't see his hand, so. He's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. So that's a little unfortunate. But we'll see now. Idea. Well, yeah, I know, but it's this weird situation now where uh, Ron can activate his elites, mm -hmm. kill the weak way, and kill Gideon potentially. And Ron has no more activations yeah. this round. I think Dave should have just stuck, left the hired gun where he was and brought IG all the way in, which he could have got all the way in, to the Stormtrooper. Well, I mean, to be honest, I think he should have activated Gideon because in, just in case he needed to kill something with the hired gun. Yeah. So Ron get gets a pretty decent roll here. Maybe three. All right, so that's not enough to no. kill Gideon, but Gideon still has to try to take out the Stormtrooper. Yeah. Oh, no, the, uh, he still has, uh, yeah, it looks like he's trying to decide what he wants to re-roll, and he does. Yeah. Ooh, okay. 
Three damage. I mean, at that point, you might as well go for it. Well, no, you go and kill the Elite Quake, so you want to get rid of that activation. Yeah. And it's only one left. You figure with the Elite guy, you should be able to do it. Now, he's probably worried about the focus Gideon, but you're right, the Elite Quake's going to put through a lot of damage. So he's going at Gideon again. So he probably just wants to get rid of that focus, right? Um, that's not a great roll. I don't know what Dave's defense is there, though. That looks like a dead Gideon for three points for Ron. So that Gideon with focus was a bit, you know, a bit dangerous, but this weak way can now come in and do pro possibly. He might actually have line of snow not anymore. It's blocked. Wow, this is tight, man. So Dave's gonna have to just kill that hurt uh, stormtrooper and try and get out of way, out of the way. Well, I, yeah, just no, just go kill the stormtrooper and end the round. Yeah. Well, the stormtrooper's only with two. Yeah, and then end the round, and then all the points he'll win by points. So Dave should have this game. Blaze here. of Glory? Oh, wow. Smart. So now he's got a full IG. This, is, this will be over. So Dave's going to come in. I would just kill this guy down here. Yeah. Kill the uh, elite stormtrooper down at the bottom. Get two shots at him. And yeah. that'll be 40 points. And Dave's going to take the win. Assume some miraculous or Because Ron has no cards, so. Yeah. I don't, I don't think this. Yeah. This is just a technicality at this point. There you that's go. That's a, enough. That's All a right. very dead. All right. Well, All right. Congrats, Dave. Good match.